The best predictor of the future is the past, and when you have the history that Ryan does, anything is possible. And for 2022, he had his sights set on a buck that he called the Super 8. Season opens here shortly. Hopefully everything works out and I get a shot at him in velvet. September would come and go, as would Ryan's hopes of a valid bug, and with low deer sightings, October rolled in, hoping to bring changes. The Super 8 is daylighted to twice in the last few days. So many of us dream. Dream of being here, behind a giant whitetail, but getting there is a journey. They say getting there is half the fun, and that couldn't be more true when following and appreciating these incredible deer. We work all year long, scouting, preparing, always learning, largely through trial and error, and sharing what has been learnt with a new generation. And when fall comes, the stage is set, we've done the work and there's a plan in place. We get to head out knowing that most days will fail, but you go back again and again knowing that at some point, maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to bring that dream to life. That if you put the time in, and with a bit of luck, you'll get to share a moment in the deer woods with a legend. Taylor, that is a giant buck. It was well worth it just to watch him step out. Gorgeous deer. That would be the shortest hunt. That was quick, eh? He's down right there, buddy. He's still shaking. He is awesome. We weren't even ready for that. Holy buckets. Wow, it's an amazing deer. Wow, I can't believe it. I think you got a book deer, girl. You just never know what's going to step out. Beautiful deer. Stealth Cam presents Canadian Whitetail. Brought to you by Ozonics. Undetectable, undeniable. New archery products. Hunt with confidence. Monster Meal, attraction, nutrition, results. Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. Excalibur Crossbow, different for a reason. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. Hunter's Specialties, serious hunting tools. Dart and Archery, for hunters that demand performance. Cold Steel Knives, anytime, anywhere. Heater Bodysuit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. Central Boiler, outdoor wood furnaces. Boyd's Hardwood Gun Stocks, better with Boyd's. And by Stealth Cam, the leader in trail cam technology. There are a few hunters that have accomplished taking a giant whitetail deer. Not a big deer, but a true giant. And then there are hunters like Ryan on a Freychuck who's accomplished that, and furthermore, has taken an absolute giant the last three seasons in a row. It certainly takes skill, but also a dash of luck to hit a string like Ryan has the last few years, like the nearly 200 inch Bigfoot 6 in 2019. Well, here he is, it's Bigfoot 6. This has got to be the biggest deer I've ever killed in my life. Giant. You think it'd be hard to follow up on the buck of a lifetime, but then this appears on your stealth cam. This is a true giant. Last year I said I killed the biggest deer of my life, and I think I just repeated it again this year. Big boy. They say luck comes in three, so why wouldn't we expect anything less than for Ryan to be on another giant in 2021? He's down right there. <laughs> Didn't go far at all. Oh yeah, that's the buck we call the swamp buck. He's been uh, driving us nuts here for the last couple months. I only got two days left to hunt and here he is, beauty. Now, with the big history behind him, the upcoming season ahead of him, Ryan's ready to get to work on a new year, a new spot, and a new big buck. 
This segment is brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by Pro Expedition Sense and Lures, because it works. Tacticam, share your hunt. On X Hunt, know where you stand. Hawk, hunt from above or attack from the ground. Conquest Archery Accessories, and by AAE, quality and dependability in all our products. This segment has been brought to you by the Raculator the world's best electronic scoring device. Score any antlered or horned game, and even sheds fast, easy, and accurate with the Raculator. Get yours today at Raculator.com. A string of big bucks behind him, and now it's 2022, and Ryan is headed out to set up on a familiar buck from years past. Doing a blind setup on a buck we call the Super 8. He's a big old mature 4x4. He's been daylighting here in the last few weeks. History with the deer is a powerful tool, and although Ryan is unsure if the buck survived another winter, his past with the buck makes him confident that he knows where he wants to be set up if the deer is alive. And with his stealth cam set up to soon tell the tale, all that's left for Ryan is to make sure that his darton is still on the mark. last odds and ends to prepare and some fresh spitfires to put on his arrows, Ryan is ready to check his stealth cam to check in on the Super 8 buck. And when he does check, the Super 8 is right there, as expected, and now in 2022 he looks great with a tall heavy frame. And the season was now here. first sit of a fresh new season and Ryan is all settled in, though it'd be off to a slow start only seeing one young spike buck on opening day. Oh, it's day four. I'm back. Hopefully the, the buck we call the Super 8 shows up tonight. This evening, Ryan won't only have the unseasonably warm temperatures to contend with, but also an encounter with this fellow. I'm not sure if it's Ryan or the bear, who is lucky that the bear stopped pulling at Ryan's stealth cams, but in any case, it's probably a good decision as the bear heads off. These fellers have been giving me trouble in here for the last couple weeks, so it's been uh, hard on the deer movement, all that good stuff. Well, it's uh, day number eight. He hasn't been here. Actually, about, I think it's 12 days, 13 days maybe now. But he showed up this morning on the stealth cell cam, so he had a smaller buck with him. Hopefully he went back to bed, not too far from here. It's pretty windy today, so hopefully he didn't travel far and he comes 
us back this evening. With a string of slow sits and visits from the local bears, Ryan wonders if his streak is beginning to slow, and tonight again only a few deer would be on their feet and moving. Patience is a virtue, and although slow, Ryan stays committed to the spot, hoping that at some point things will turn around, and after going to work for a couple days, he returns to find that he had missed an opportunity. But the good news is the buck is back, on his feet, and in daylight. My 13th day sitting on this buck we call Super 8. He was here the day before last night, so we topped up the monster meal here today. Early he comes in and uh, hangs around to give me a shot. Another uneventful night, however, a few days later, while at work, Ryan gets a photo from one of his stealth cams near his stand, showing that the buck is still there, still in daylight, meaning Ryan still has a shot. This segment of Canadian Whitetail is brought to you by Onyx Hunt, the most trusted GPS mapping app. Download the Onyx Hunt app today. Know where you stand with Onyx Hunt. This segment has been brought to you by Darton Archery. In the archery business for over 70 years, Darton is the world's leader in archery technology and innovation. To experience unmatched shootability, versatility, and reliability, visit your local dealer to shoot the new Darton. Well, it's uh, October 6th, and it's uh, one of my favorite times of the year. I've killed uh, a few bucks on this day, and uh, Dean and the other fellers have also. Now I'm sorry to interrupt Ryan's hunt, but if you're wondering how good of a day October 6th has been to us in the past, well, it's been really good. From a provincial archery record to personal best, to so the hunt for a Boone and Crockett legend shared with a friend, even one of the largest wild whitetails ever hunted on film, well, no other day around here will ever measure up to October 6th. It's about 3 o'clock. I got in here early, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping he shows up tonight. With more deer moving earlier, Ryan had early hope, but as the evening carried on, the deer movement would slow. Hope doesn't always get you far in the deer woods, and tonight wouldn't be another notch for October 6th. Though not deterred, Ryan would be back tomorrow. Well, I'm in for an evening sit here. Check the camera here. He's daylighted twice in the last few days and uh, topped up the monster meal and uh, hopefully tonight's the night the boys are combining to the north but they're far enough away I think that uh, shouldn't affect the deer movement. We'll see what happens. This evening again, deer movement is dismal, but you can never say never. And just at last light, while Ryan starts to think about packing up, he catches movement to his left. 
It's a Super 8 buck headed directly towards Ryan. Well within range, but his attention on Ryan, he just needs him to look away to draw his bow. And when he does, Ryan wastes no time. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Learning through failure in the deer woods is extremely important. Those hunts that grind on, those hunts that don't go as planned, when you find out your setup's wrong, those are the opportunities we have to look back and learn. It doesn't matter how old you are or how many years you've been doing it. Anyone in the Whitetail Woods is learning from their first day out to their very last day. And everything you learn along the way makes you more efficient, a more proficient hunter. And we need to look at those failures as an opportunity to look back, as an opportunity to understand deer better, to understand our setups better. It sounds counterproductive, but failure in the deer woods is good. If you set up a stand and the deer don't travel like you think they were going to and it doesn't work out for you, that's only ruined your hunt for one night. It might have a little bit of effect for the next couple of days if the deer caught you, but it gives you a huge opportunity to have been there in person and assess the situation and see what changes you need to make. Those changes can affect the quality of your hunting on that property for years. How you hunt, the tactics you use, is an ever-evolving process throughout your lifespan as a hunter. Don't look at that failed hunt negatively. Whether it was just an evening that went bad or an entire season that went off the rails, take that chance to actively look back and identify things that you could change to make the next season better. These hunts that don't go as planned are our best opportunity to learn and improve. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Create your own muddy moment. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Boyd's Hardwood Gunstocks, the world's largest manufacturer of aftermarket hardwood and laminate stocks. Boyd's offers stocks for over 1,200 firearm models so you can make every gun better with Boyd's. After over a month of slow rush sits, Ryan caught movement to his left. And it was a Super 8 buck making his way. buck we call a super eight i didn't hear him crash but uh i'm pretty confident it's a good shot we'll see what happens here i'm gonna give him an hour and uh hopefully he's down it seems quite often that success in the deer woods comes when least expected and confident in his shot after giving the deer some time ryan heads in to have a look Half an arrow, I guess. Got lots of blood here, so. Good blood on it, so. He's not far, we'll keep going. There he is, right there. Big old boy. Big old four by four we call the Super 8. Thanks to the landowners on this one. Darby uh, was just combining to the north here tonight and it didn't affect anything. He came right in. I thought the shot was a little far back, but uh, turned out it wasn't. So he only went 75 yards and here we are. We found him and it's all over for uh, 2022 season. Big old buck. 
a great deer for a great guy who's left his mark in the whitetail woods, and I'm absolutely certain it won't be the last. Congratulations, Ryan, on yet another beautiful and well-earned buck. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment is brought to you by Wild Edge, makers of the ultimate climbing system, the stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the stepladder. To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Stay up to date with Dean and the team by following us on Instagram, liking us on Facebook, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, information, and newsletters, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com. For past episodes and never seen content, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or search for us wherever you stream.